Hello, the Regiments of Renown are making a return to the world of Warhammer and entering service across the battlefields of the Mortal Realms. But what's the history of these unique units? This is Liber Memoria, everything you might want to know about one of the latest releases from Games Workshop in less than four minutes. There are several new battalion boxes available for Age of Sigmar under the banner Regiments of Renown, but where did that title come from? The 1983 first edition of Warhammer, the mass combat fantasy role-playing game, received its first supplement one year after release. In 1984, the Forces of Fantasy box hit shelves, and it included three new rulebooks, Arcane Magics, which provided magic rules, Forces of Fantasy, which provided army lists and points values to balance games, and finally, the Fighting Fantasy Battles book. Amongst other things, that book would include rules and background for eight regiments of renown. These were famous units from across the Warhammer world that represented some of the best and worst of their respective armies. The breadth of these regiments was wonderful. Ogres, elves, orcs, dwarves, dark elves and more. And the lore that they came with helped to establish and formalise a lot of the burgeoning Warhammer setting. New locations, characters and traits would debut with these units and much of the lore made it in some form right the way to the end of the Warhammer world. Long-standing stalwarts like Joseph Bugman and his dwarf rangers, Goblin General Grom and the mighty ogre mercenaries of Goldfang would remain a dangerously consistent presence across editions, rewrites and resculpts. Three more regiments would be released in the original format, including Karnak's Lizardmen Raiders. Each of these 11 units received accompanying Citadel miniatures, released in boxes with several troopers and one of either a champion, a musician or a standard bearer. In 1985, the Citadel Journal started updating the regimental rules for Warhammer 2nd Edition, and also providing rules for even more regiments of renown. My favourite of those are the Flying Gargoyles of Barda, a group of lesser demons that decimated and then defended the newly created city of Marienburg. The new miniatures for these latest regiments used slaughter rather than sculpted bases, and several of the original regiments received resculpts to take advantage of this new slaughter technology. In total, the first series of regiments of renown would run to 18 different units, the last of which was Ezer Ugazod's Mother Crushers. In 1987, a brand new set of releases would replace the entire range. This second wave of regiments of renown would come in their own boxes with their own bespoke art, and they had rules on the box, unique troop sculpts, and a complete command group included. Only six regiments were released in this series. New versions of Bugman's Dwarf Rangers and Harboth's Orc Archers were joined by the Nightmare Legion of Undead, Scarlock's Wood Elf Archers, Ruglud's Armoured Orcs, and Prince Ulthar's Imperial Dwarves. A further six units would be added to this range, including the return of Goldfag and his Ogres, but they'd all be released in blisters rather than the awesome bespoke boxes. In 1993, Bugman's Rangers would get another update, released as a regular unit for Dwarf Armies in Warhammer 4th Edition. The 5th Edition Dogs of War Army book, released in 1998, took the idea of the Regiments of Renown to a logical conclusion. What if you could field an entire army of specialised units? The Regiments of Renown moniker would also reappear in the updated army list for the Dogs of War in 6th Edition, published via White Dwarf. Other regiments of renown would turn up throughout the years as well, like the cursed company of Richter Kruger the Damned, a unit of skeletons comprised of different races, Skaven included. The regiments of renown name even made its way into 40k, appearing on the box for the rogue trader era Harlequin squad. I think the regiments of renown tell some of the best stories in Warhammer lore. Short vignettes about characterful heroes, hard-bitten warriors, and legends of the battlefield the old world over. Let me know if you'd like me to spend more time telling the tales of those classic regiments. In any case, I'm happy to see the return of the regiments of renown, even if they haven't got new sculpts or unique units. I just hope that one day we get to see the return of Longdrong, the Barda Gargoyles, and even Martha Manhide and her Dark Elf company on battlefields once more.